So I received a comment the other day saying that I have too many jackets and I thought, one, there's no such thing, and two, I should probably show you guys all of them. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something that, I love when ideas like this come to me. It's not like a revolutionary idea or anything, but this idea came to me and just really excited me. I think like my number one asked question, although I say this about every question, <laughs> is about my jackets, where I get them, which ones I love the most, what I wear in the winter. I think two videos ago, I posted a video on how to look cute while staying warm. If you wanna check that out, I will leave it linked down below. There's a few jackets from there, but I wanted to show you guys all of my jackets it is ridiculous. When I was like in high school and siege up and all of that, I wore one winter jacket only and I would spend like, I think my winter jacket was thousand dollars, which is very pricey. And to be honest, it wasn't even that warm. For as I've gotten older, I've kind of come to realize that I'd rather have many more kind of less expensive jackets and that gives me more options than one really expensive jacket because let's face it in the winter especially if you are in like a really cold climate i live in montreal it gets freaking freezing up in here okay so your jacket basically becomes your whole outfit and that's why i like switching it up whereas if i have like one winter coat that i wear every single day covering your outfit it's kind of boring you know you kind of get a little bit bored. Jackets, coats, I don't know the difference between a jacket and a coat. I should probably look that up because someone yelled at me that I called something a coat when it was a jacket or a jacket when it was a coat. And if that is something that grinds your gears, shorter is a jacket, longer is a coat, but hip length can be either. I separated all of my jackets and coats up. Did you think this was all of them? No, no, no. I probably have four sections of coats that I want to show you guys. These are just like my bomber puffer jackets. So we'll start with those because those are the ones I get the most questions about. And then we will go on with teddy coats, actual winter coats, and then my other jackets that I like to wear. In the description box, I'm going to be listing it. However, if I cannot find the exact one because some of these are from last year, I will be listing dupes for it. So this video is going to be long so grab yourself a snack grab yourself a coffee a water a tea anything your heart desires and i think it's time to just jump right into it i have these furry slippers on from express and my feet are absolutely sweating by the way look how cute these bracelets are we still have the burgundy available for pre-order they will be shipping in around a week to two weeks okay so jacket number one this is a new jacket i just got from zara that i'm absolutely obsessed with it's an oversized puffer jacket i love this jacket because it's so oversized this isn't a size extra small it's the absolute perfect size you'll see why i'm saying that in a second it's really puffy sleeves now this is like my go-to winter jacket when it's really cold outside when i just really want to stay warm but it's also very stylish so you guys can see it's very puffery very huge however for some reason i really really like that you do have the option to make it more of a bomber. One tip I have for these really big oversized jackets is wearing a crossbody bag, a shorter crossbody bag. So I just throw this on and this way it kind of keeps it contained, less puffy. This is it from the back. I like that it's matte and then I also like how warm it is. So this is like an 9.5 on 10 for warm. This next jacket right here is the exact same jacket as the one I just showed you. However, it's nude and I almost don't want to even show you guys this one <laughs> because I'm waiting for it to come back in stock in a size extra small. That's why it still has the tag on it because small is just a little bit too big. So it's the exact same jacket just in like the most beautiful nude color. However, this isn't a size small. I got it just in case it never comes back in stock but you can see this one's like really oversized i zoomed out so you guys can see me better hopefully by the time i put this video up it's back in stock small that's why it looks a little bit big if you're like tony what the heck is going on next two puffer jackets are from fabletics i paid for them myself i wanted a white puffer jacket to go with an all black look i don't know why in the winter i love pairing white and black and then i also got a shiny black puffer jacket because i didn't have one surprisingly this is a white one, I really like it. You do have the option to make it more of like a bomber kind of jacket, which I do really like. In terms of warmth, it's not quite as warm as the Zara one, but it will keep you warm on a chilly day. Don't go like cross country skiing in this in a blizzard at negative 40 degrees because you will freeze to death. But if you're just like, you know, running some errands, it will keep you warm. So this is the white one. I like it 
a lot. I feel like marshmallow. And this is the black one. Again, it's really hard to see because I'm the genius who wore all black. I got these both in a size small um, and they fit perfectly, especially if I wanna wear something a little bit bigger underneath. But once again, if you wanna kind of tame down how puffy it is, crossbody. It's a way to go. It's the answer to everything in life. Let me do a quick spin for you. This next jacket is from Aloe Yoga. I got it in a size extra small in this really pretty rose gold color. Last year, I saw a Montclair at Holt Renfrew. It was like $3,000. I'd be caught dead before I spent three grand on a pink jacket or a leopard jacket or whatever the heck you wanna buy for that much, especially when there's way more affordable options. They have this jacket, at least last year, they had it in many options. I really liked it because it's cropped, it's oversized. You guys know I love my oversized stuff. I love this with jeans and a white top. I love this with all gray underneath. This one I think was a little bit more expensive than those. I think this was around $200. However, it is very warm. The more you pull it, the more kind of like puffery you can see it got. So as you guys can see, it can kind of go from regular cropped to kind of like a bomber, which now looking in the viewfinder, I think I prefer. <laughs> but overall, 10 on 10, 100% recommend. Funny story about this one. Um, my mom almost threw it out. She just took the box it arrived in and chucked it literally out the window. She is a wild one. Okay, 99% of these jackets are pretty affordable. I don't want you guys to come for me. I understand it's not affordable. However, in comparison to other winter jackets that keep you just as warm for a higher name brand that will cost you like 700, 800, 1,000, 3,000 dollars, these are very affordable that get you the same look. For a winter jacket, I don't necessarily recommend spending like $25 on it um, unless you find a really good like secondhand coat because you do want to stay warm this one a little bit more of an investment but if you just want one plain black puffer jacket I would recommend going with the aloe yoga one because it's very warm like I said a little bit more expensive but you do get that extra warmth and the extra quality I find this next jacket is more of like a winter jacket but it's also kind of like a, a puffer jacket this one is from zara it actually comes with a hood with the whole fur thing on it um i decided oh here's the hood i'm not sure where the fur thing is i decided to take it off last year this is more of like my sporty vibe i wore this a lot with um a baseball cap to give me more of that sporty vibe it's a little bit more fitted not so like puffer look you know but this is it from the back it keeps me pretty warm. Zara has really, really good, more affordable jackets and they are starting to incorporate like down jackets. This jacket is like garbage bag level. This jacket is actually from Forever 21. May you rest in peace. Honestly, their stores always like gave me anxiety anyways. Sometimes you can find some really good things. I really, really like this when I found it. I'm sure online they have many options. I will do my best to list them down below. I like this one because it it's cropped at a really good length. For jackets like this, let's say, this was a style last year I was kind of testing the waters on. I didn't want to go and buy a really expensive jacket with this shiny material because I didn't know if I was going to like it. So I went to Forever 21, I bought a jacket. I think this was $15. I got it on sale, tested it out, figured out I liked it so this year I bought some more. Boohoo has probably the most diverse and well-rounded and largest selection of jackets I think I've ever seen. This one you guys absolutely died for and loved in my last how to stay warm video. I'm so happy you did because so did I. This jacket I really like wearing with jeans because it kind of goes cropped in the front and longer in the back so as you can see from here very cute very cropped and then it goes a little bit longer the way the model styled it on the website is really nice she had like a plain t-shirt on and a pair of jeans and i thought it was really cute i love the color of this it looks very easy to me i just want to tell you guys i didn't buy all of these this year i've been kind of like buying these over the past three or four years so this bomber jacket is from the Zara Kids collection. I did a whole Zara Kids video last year. They have a ton of good options and I just was drawn to orange. I don't know why I was so drawn to orange. Now this is a jacket I kind of like wearing off the shoulders. Obviously when I go outside, I'm not crazy. I don't wear it, you know, off the shoulders. But even with like an all black outfit or I love this paired with an all gray outfit. When I'm inside, I kind of let all of my jackets like hang off the shoulder. I don't know, I think I'm cool or something. Okay, so now on to my favorite teddy bear jackets. Surprisingly, um, and kind of sadly, these aren't my only teddy bear jackets. 
I don't know if I should be like embarrassed by that. Two years ago, I, ex or even last year, I think I exclusively wore teddy bear jackets. I have been um, in an ad recently that I did not approve of for this jacket actually. And um, because I've shown it on my channel so many times, they took some clips from my videos. I did not get it from their store, but I will be telling you where I got all of these. So this is my number one favorite teddy bear coat or like pretty high up there. I actually have this in black, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> I think my sister might have it. This is a long teddy bear coat. If you, I was originally inspired by the Max Mara coat, which is stunning, but again, I'm not paying that much for a coat. I simply refuse to, especially when there's so many amazing options out there. There's options out there that you can pay like three or $400. This I think I paid $60 for and it made me just as happy. I am five foot one for reference if you guys didn't know and this goes to um, kind of like mid calf. So this is gonna be hard for you guys to see. What's in my pocket? Business cards and what is this? <gasps> a lip liner and a lighter. I don't have a lighter and a tampon. I'm literally standing on a chair. It comes to like this length on me. The color of it is absolutely perfect. Like I said, Misguided has such good jackets. They have it in white, they have it in black. I love wearing this, let's say, with a crossbody bag. And what I love most about this is you can literally have on the most basic outfit underneath. Like literally, like I have black leggings and a black top. Throw on a nice pair of shoes, throw on this bag and you're good to go. I just love this color. It's like a really pretty brown. I really recommend the ones from Misguided probably the most. This is my newest edition that I'm absolutely in love with. I wore this in my last vlog and I love this jacket. So this is from Zara. They do have it right now in case you guys are interested. It is a cropped teddy jacket, which is something I didn't have. It does give you the option to make it a little bit more of a bomber like so, which I didn't, I didn't really do ever. Um, I prefer it kind of loose and I when I wear jackets like this I like really playing on the monochromatic tones So I love wearing this with like a new top and a pair of jeans or I Absolutely when I wore this last I had this bag on a tip for you guys if you have a jacket with like a collar always tuck your purse underneath. I just thought it was really cute. I also wore like nude shoes and it was just like a really pretty look. Again, when you pair different tones of the same color, you look really good. This next jacket is from H&M. It's another really long one. It's a little bit longer than the misguided, but I wanted to show you this option. It's from H&M because it is a little bit fluffier and it is a little bit longer and it's a little bit lighter. So you can see here it is like quite a bit longer. It goes to about my ankles. You definitely don't need both of them. Again, if I had to pick just one, I'd probably go with this one. I like the color a little bit more, um, but this one is slightly warmer and a little bit more plush. This next jacket is from Shein. I wore it so many times. It's kind of like a bomber jacket. I still really love this jacket, I think. I don't know why I stopped wearing it so much. On this episode of What is in Tony's Pocket, we have some Splenda like the perfect teddy bear coat. I like this one from a more casual look, like maybe with a baseball hat, some running shoes, going to the gym, I don't know. I just really like it. It's a different style than from the other ones I have, but overall, really nice. Finally, I wanted to show you this one from Nasty Gal, because this one is a little bit shorter. Okay, so the next section of coats are these longer, a little bit dressier coats that I absolutely love. I also love wearing these with running shoes. My first and my absolute most favorite is this long one from Zara. It's black. Got it in a size extra small. It does go really long on me. I've seen it so many times. This is like my number one top pick. It is very, very thick, very warm. I love wearing like skirts and dresses under this with thigh high boots. If you want to see a few outfits with this, you can check out my what I wore in London and Paris video because I wore this like with every single outfit. This next one is new from Express. I actually haven't even worn it yet but it's a similar coat just a shorter version you can't really see it but it has the tie like this you can see here this one goes just above my knee which is one of my two favorite lengths I either like right above my knee or down to the floor so I have my down to the floor and now I love this one this one again just makes you look so put together I would wear this with a pair of heels 
You can wear this shopping. You can wear this with like with running shoes if you want to make it a little bit more casual. You can wear it open. I just absolutely love it. Not quite as warm as like the Zara one or the last two sections of jackets that I showed you, but you definitely do look a little bit fancier. Two years ago, I went shopping downtown and I saw a beautiful Max Mara coat that I absolutely loved but there was no way I was spending 3,000 or 4,000 or 5,000 dollars on it. So I went on Pretty Little Thing and I found a dupe and I'm mean, just as happy, if not happier, because I didn't have to spend that much. And then also on this coat, however, this was me kind of like testing the waters. These two coats before I jumped into like the more expensive options. I wore this to death. I will still link this one down below. This is not warm at all. I just want to tell you guys, not warm whatsoever unless you like put a lot of layers underneath i saw this one at zara which was a little bit more expensive this was around 200 dollars and it is just like a thicker better quality prettier jacket this is the one from zara it goes right above my knees you can either have it tied or not my absolute favorite way to wear this is actually with a very casual outfit underneath and a pair of running shoes and this last jacket i showed in my last boohoo haul it's the same kind, just very long. Because I love, love, love this long Zara one, I picked up a long camel one as well. We're almost done, guys, I promise. I know this is excessive, but not everyone needs this many jackets. But I hope that this kind of like narrowed down your favorites and gave you some good options. This first one could have gone in like the first section. It's my favorite. It's also from Zara. This is in a size extra small. It's kind of like a thinner, puffer jacket but kind of keeps you really warm so I classified it with like winter jacket. I showed this on my Instagram stories and you guys absolutely loved it. My favorite way to wear it is actually zipped up like this and kind of just like puffed out like that and it kind of just gives you like a sporty fun look um and this is kind of like the only jacket that I actually prefer zipped up. This next jacket is from Misguided. It is a long kind of puffer winter jacket and boy let me tell you this one is so so warm this one goes to around this height this one is super warm like a true winter jacket something can just throw on that will guarantee keep you warm this is something i'd wear if i was going to be outside for a long period of time this next one is like a true winter coat i wanted to show you guys this option because it is a kind of like a dupe for a macage however it's vegan and cruelty free this is not real fur and it's also way more affordable but also it gives you like the same look it's from the brand noise noise outerwear and this is like my true if i'm going like skiing which i don't ski or like outside this is like my true winter jacket i like it because you can cinch it in more at the waist and kind of like taper it in or you can let that go and have it completely loose and then all the way around hood this one is like a true winter coat snowstorm this is my favorite one this is the only one i have i don't even wear or fit into my macage anymore and honestly this is way warmer and this last one i'm not gonna try it on because i'm sweating to death and you saw it last video is another really long really pretty winter jacket all right you guys the last two jackets these are for when you want to kind of wear a leather jacket but it's way too cold to wear a leather jacket these are for you so this is kind of like a moto jacket this is actually from the zara kids section i love that it has the contrasting white fur because it was from the zara kids section it's obviously way more affordable what is in this pocket Oh my god candy i love having the collar kind of lifted up you can see where it goes because it's lined with the faux fur it keeps you really really warm and last but not least is this moto jacket which is bigger than the other one it's black on black but it keeps you so warm so i know a lot of stores have this option and this available this one is just from h&m i absolutely love it I get so many compliments on it. This is like a fall winter jacket. If it doesn't get like absolutely freezing where you live, this is absolutely perfect. But yeah, that is it for the jackets I wear this winter. I don't want you guys to think I'm crazy. These are a lot of jackets that I've collected over the years. Um, this year, I think I only bought, I think I bought four of them this year. I will do my best to link every single jacket and coat down below. Um, if I cannot find one, I will link a similar option. If you made it through this far, 
Thank you. I hope it helped you at least a little bit. Let me know what videos you want to see from me down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I love you so much and thank you for watching.